Good afternoon, YouTube. It's 11.50. It's a beautiful day outside. Uh, I'm going to do a recap on my issue with my uh, Cameo, which was making the, that annoying fret buzz. It got a little bit better. I did some adjustments on it. Uh, thanks for some advice. Well, a big help, actually, to Woodso Woodso's Guitar Mod, if I'm saying it right. I want to thank you for the that little uh, information you sent. And I wish I had an Apple device where we could uh, go over it face-to-face. -face. It, would, it would be fun. I believe I have Skype. I never used it, but I think I'm up for that, just for a future reference. Uh, so I'm gonna take the strings off and uh, play with the frets because I noticed there's a couple of them that are higher than the other. R rocks a little bit that I noticed. Uh, Did adjust the neck properly again. It's not straight. It does have a little bow to it. I still have that little uh frets it's not so I'm gonna do that uh, yeah this guitar just I don't know overnight it, it got sick Which, yeah, I, it's a whole, uh, I mean, I know it's not a Gibson or whatnot, but it is an old guitar, so I even played with the, the nut a little bit Just to make sure it wasn't that, so I had new strings on here. Took them off. I put another set of new strings on here. So had the problem. I put tens on here. Maybe that was the issue. Maybe the nines weren't, but whatever I did, it, it didn't work. But I took the advice. I readjusted the neck again. Uh, I would check out Woodso's uh, guitar mods. It's very informative. And, uh, it's very he's very enjoying to watch. I like watching him because he does the base the stuff that you know when you don't have the tools and whatnot. So he's uh, good to watch. But uh, other than that, I mean, I wind up buying. Uh, files for the frets they're tiny they're not you know really big but from when I looked and saw other people do it I just have to modify them a little bit but they do have not that you can see it too good all the different uh, angles on it I mean the set only cost me three dollars so it's not like I'm gonna be a uh, Tearing it up, but they're all different uh, three sided, little flat, another three sided, around. And I got this little one, it's a, almost like a half circle, which I could probably shape a little bit on it, but it's a, it's a tiny little set. 
three dollars little case so I picked that up and I had a little dunk on one of my guitars that wasn't coming off so I just bought a little thing to goof off I already tried a little bit so uh, it didn't do anything to the finish at all but I got that I guess it's good to have to get you know spunk off your guitar that you get over the time uh, my blue tape for the frets, and I got myself a little Sharpie marker so I could do that. Uh, and then I finally got in the mail some more uh, guitar hangers. That they're adjustable. They were very cheap to get, so I got four more on the way. But not that I need them, but I didn't want to wait. They were on back order, so I ordered an, an, another three pack. I would show you. I'll show you later on uh, at some point today. After I try doing the guitar, I hung up some already. But uh, yeah. So far, I've, I've, they've been holding the ones that I hung up uh, last week, I believe. Uh, it does come with mounting hardware, which I wouldn't use. I mean, a lot of the reviews, people have used it, and then they will tar fell off the wall, or just it was starting to pull out, and they caught it in time. But uh, I wouldn't uh, use them. The crap. I mean, this is the anchor that they give you, and the screw. But uh, obviously, when I'm putting the screw in, maybe it's supposed to do that. I don't know, but. It, I don't think it's supposed to do that, but it starts to to rip, which means it'll fall right out of the wall. And we do not want that to happen. No sorry. That would be a catastrophe. I don't care if it's a twenty dollar guitar or a thousand dollar guitar. You don't wanna you don't wanna come home to that. I mean yeah, if it's a bolt-on neck and it breaks, get another bolt-on neck. But if it's, a, if it's a through neck, then yeah, you're in a world of hurt. Comes in a little big. And the box. When you get them, there's three boxes shrunk wrapped together for that. But, uh, I've, I used uh, toggle bolts, open up on that, and uh, fortunately where I was hanging it, I had the uh, a beam going across the top, so obviously the toggle bolt did not work, so I bought this, these bad boys right here, go right into the, into the, uh, into the wood, and it's not going anywhere. I don't know if you need this length, but this is the length I needed, which is weird because they got like thick sheet rock and on that, <clears throat> like that, and it comes with a little uh, attachment for your drill, socket attachment, and zips right in. So those bad boys aren't going anywhere. I also <clears throat> wind up, uh, I mean, I do have a Korg uh, tuna, but you have to. You know, it works very well. I'm not even, but you have to plug the guitar into it. And, uh, I mean, you don't have to. I mean, for acoustics, you can play the acoustics and it picks up the sound and you can tune it that way. But, uh, it picks up a lot of sound. So, if there's any 
noise within the vicinity, it will bolt, you know, change it up a little bit. But uh, I wind up uh, getting this. This was this was really cheap. Snock. I don't know where you get the name from. Just clips on your guitar. I mean, obviously, a lot of people have this already, so it's nothing new. I don't know if they have this particular model brand, but uh, your little directions comes in a little, little, little pouch. And uh, this is the little guy right here. Look bigger in the picture, but a little on button. As you can see. Ah. Just clip it to your guitar. Adjust it a little bit. Let me just see. Uh, hi. Strum, strum it. And when it gets to the green, it's in tune. In tune, somewhat, but yeah, very tiny. I can't wait to get this started. But, uh, yeah, it's a cute little gadget. It's very tiny. You can just leave it on your guitar. So, and you just hit the button, shut it off. Uh, the battery is right back here. That's the battery for it. Uh, so, slides right in. And that's it. But yeah, no, it's, it's light. You don't even know you've been holding it. Why not? Uh, yeah, cute little case. Uh, chord secrets of the pros, I guess. Uh, when you register your warranty. It's such a little... Uh, little device I don't think I can read that but uh, uh but no it's pretty much uh doesn't 
to a uh, not much to tell you. They do sell different ones. This is what? This is the the SN uh, the Snop Five, which is for guitar, bass, and uh, violin. I do have a violin. I don't play it. My son has it, but it needs attention to. But this is good for that. And then you have the SN6. If anybody has a ukulele, they got one for that. So make sure you get, if you do purchase one of these, make sure you get uh, the SN5, not the SN6, because I don't know how a ukulele tuner would work on the guitar. Be different, different sound probably, but uh, yeah, this is supposed to be uh, Rotates 360. Well, I don't know if it works for right or left-handed plays. That doesn't make sense, but maybe there's something I don't know about uh, tuning for left-handed player. Uh, clip is pretty sturdy. And uh, the reviews that I saw, you know, tunes tighter so you sound better. Uh, so a lot of positive reviews on that, so I'm glad I actually got it. Uh, other than that, I'm going to start, uh, tearing this, uh, taking the strings off of it, uh, checking the, uh, rechecking the, uh, the heights on the, uh, the frets so I can get them, uh, level again and see what happens. And, uh, that's pretty much it for now. Thanks for watching. Uh, once again, thanks to individuals who, uh, responded to my, my need of help for that, for last night. It's much appreciated. Uh, still got that burn. It's still killing me. Thumb. Can't believe I ribbed the, uh, soldering iron the wrong way. Not paying attention. Pay attention when you're doing work when you can talk. Because I guess when I placed the soldering iron down, the cord must have turned it around, and I was soldering something, not looking, and I went to reach for it, and I grabbed the wrong end of the soldering iron. Thank God for snow outside, because that's where I ran to. Get to the snow. Put my hand in snow to help with the, uh, with the burn. It looked worse as it happened, but yeah. I'm stupid. Pay attention. Especially when working with hot stuff. Don't assume anything. Because that's what happens. You're looking this way. You grab. After five grabs, you grab it the right way. And all of a sudden, it took a turn for the worse. And as I was holding something, as I grabbed... It spun, and I grabbed the hot end of the soldering iron. So, that was not fun. Enough of my mishap, but, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, comments, welcome. Thumbs up, thumbs down, doesn't matter. And, uh, I'll do another video after I, uh, take the strings off and get myself situated on, uh, on this bad boy. Okay, thanks for watching.